welcome back to my channel today I am doing a fall makeup look for you it's actually the look I have on my face and I just love this look I kind of centered the entire look around max eyeshadow cranberry I think that this is the perfect fall shade especially because it's called cranberry which automatically reminds me of the food automatically makes me think of Thanksgiving all of the wonderful things that are to come so I thought it might be fun to do an entire fall makeup tutorial kind of centered around this color this video is also a collab with what's Katie up to she is a stunning stunning youtuber I'm going to have her channel and her video linked down below so after you watch this one definitely head over to her give her video a big thumbs up subscribe to her channel and if you are new here then hi welcome definitely hit that subscribe button join our little family and if you want to see how I got this fall inspired cranberry makeup look then just keep watching okay, I'm starting with my Mac prep and prime illuminating base in the color illuminating yellow just to hydrate my skin then going in with max BB cream and makeup forever HD foundation in 107 I'm going to blend all of that into my skin with my big foundation brush, then using Trish McAvoy Instant Eye Lift because you guys know it's my absolute favorite. Using my finger to blend all of that in because why not? Then going in with my Marc Jacobs Concealer Pen, layering that on top because I love the way that it looks. Using my finger again to just blend that on top of the Trish McAvoy. Then going in with my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser for Dark Circles. I love this product. I love layering it. I love using it as a highlight. I think it's so pretty. Then I'm going to go in with my MAC Burgundy Times 9 palette and I'm going in with the color Embark. I think it's so beautiful. I'm using it as a transition shade here. So I think it provides a really nice base for the color Cranberry. I think it is just a really beautiful complement color. So I'm using a brush to just put that into the crease of my eye. Then the star of the show here, Max Cranberry, it's such a beautiful color. I'm gonna take an eyeshadow brush and just pack on that color. I absolutely love the way it looks on the lid. If you have oily eyelids, you can definitely use an eyeshadow primer. I have pretty dry eyelids, which is why I just use my concealer as a bit of a primer. I'm just packing that color on, and you don't have to be neat with it because we're gonna blend it out. You can also bake your under eye if you're worried about fallout. But I'm just packing that onto the lid, one eye and then the other eye. I absolutely love this color already. I think it looks so gorgeous. Then I will be going back into my MAC Burgundy Times 9 palette, taking the color Sketch, and just placing that toward the outer edge of the eye, just to deepen up the color, create a little bit of dimension on my eyelids. And I think it's such a beautiful complement to the color Cranberry as well. And then I'm going in with the color Vanilla by MAC, which you'll see in a second. Yep, there she is. <laughs> then using my finger, because why not, to just create, again, a little bit of dimension, putting it on the inner corner of my eye and then blending it in toward Cranberry. And I think that creates a really beautiful gradient effect. Going back in with Cranberry and a little eyeshadow sponge, I'm going to take Cranberry on my lower lash line. I think this looks so stunning. I absolutely love taking a color on the lower lash line. I always think it creates just a really gorgeous eye look. So I'm doing that on both eyes. Again, just packing on the color. Stunning, absolutely loves, and that's without any eyeliner. And then I'm just taking a big fluffy blending brush and just blending all of the edges out. Going in with my Marc Jacobs Instamark Mirage Filter and just setting my under eye area now, brushing away any of the fallout. Then we have to bronze up this face using my Guerlain Terracotta Bronzer in the color 07 to just create a healthy bronzy glow. Going in with Max Mineralize Skin Finish in the color Cheeky Bronze. I'm not doing a traditional blush with this look because I want the eyes to be the focus but I am taking this color and just bronzing up my cheeks a little bit. Need to do eyebrows because, oh geez, Anastasia Brow Definer and my Makeup Forever Powder, amazing, good to go. Then using my Velour Lashes and Duo Eyelash Glue and putting those on. I can't remember which eyelashes these are. They are a little tricky to get on, but once they're on, they are gorgeous. I absolutely adore them. Then going in with my MAC Black Track Fluid Liner and just gonna Kind of cover up a little bit of the track of the eye uh, lashes 
and just creating a small, small wing. Nothing too fussy. I really, again, want the eyeshadow to be the star here. Then going in with my L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. And I know you're not supposed to put mascara on these fake eyelashes, but I couldn't help myself. Loves. Oh, distracted by outside, as per usual. And just doing the lower lashes. Love. And those are the eyes done. Yay, now on to the lips. We are going in with the Bobbi Brown Art Stick in the color Bear, and I'm just lining my lips and then filling them in with this super matte lip crayon, lip pencil. I love how chunky it is, so gorgeous, really beautiful nude. And then layering on top of that, just to create, again, a little bit of dimension a little bit of color difference just to deepen up that color. I'm using my Chanel Aqua Lumiere lipstick in the color Santa Barbara. And I am almost out of this, so I'm using a lip brush to just apply a little bit of that in the center of my lips. Again, just to deepen up that nude Bobbi Brown color. It also will put a little bit of a satin finish onto that very matte lip look. And then, of course, I mean... <laughs> I love layering, as you can tell, I wear like three different concealers and I'm wearing like already two different lip products. I'm using the NYX Pump It Up Lip Plumper in the color Elizabeth, just to create, again, a little bit of added dimension onto the lips, and I love this glossy finish. And then before all is said and done, I'm taking the IT Cosmetics Hello Illuminating Light Highlighter and just putting that on the um, my Cupid's bow. Is that Cupid's bow? I can't remember what that's called. Just to make my lips look bigger. So that's the finished fall makeup tutorial featuring Max Cranberry. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Don't forget to check the description box below. Go watch Katie's video. Give her channel some love. And yeah, that's it. Don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a big thumbs up. And I will talk to you guys really soon. Bye. So hot. Why am I so hot? Why does doing makeup make me so hot? Oh,